Ah, no, I'm gonna work on this thing. Got a LTA Cummins here. Uh, front main seal is leaking pretty bad, so I gotta get all this stuff off. Change the front main seal. That should be the right seal there. And then we're gonna do oil change and filter right away. Make sure it's all serviced up and ready to go. It's very important that you turn that switch to off. I don't want that thing starting up while I got my fingers in there. Yeah, I got most of the stuff off of there. Here's our first look at this mess. See how it's all caking up inside there. So I'll get the fan out of the way and the belt off and pull that dampener off and then we'll get that seal off of there. Drive pulley and dampener. A lot of stuff has to come off to get in this far. That fan shroud, that piece underneath there. Took all those bolts out already. And all this stuff. And all that stuff, so. Yeah, it uh, takes a bit of time to get in there. Putting it back together will be fun. All right, I found the front main seal. Soaking it down with brake clean, clean this up a little bit. We'll get that thing off and put a new one on. There we are, new seal is in, all torqueized to come in specifications. This uh, new seal came with a wear sleeve. The old one did not, it requires a special tool to put this in with the updated seal. So that's all done. There's the old seal there. Really nothing wrong with it outside of that it's a generator and they do a lot of sitting. And so over time, these seals just get kind of crunchy and they just don't seal anymore after that. So, but that seal that I put in there, that is an updated seal. So, that should be better. There you go, so that's that. Now it's time to start putting it back together with these. Because DeWalt, way better than Milwaukee. There we go, that's all back together. So now I'm just gonna run it, get it hot, so the oil drains good. I'll change the engine oil and the fuel filter, and then we should be good to go. Of course, while it's running, I'll be peeking in behind there and checking my seal installation to make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, let's do it. Well, I saw just the faintest little bit of oil coming out of there. Gotta do it again. Just kidding. Everything's fine. Looks really good. Motor's nice and hot. Oil's nice and hot. I'm gonna drain it. I cobbled together a couple of pieces here because I didn't want this draining right onto the... You can see it's made a mess there before. This way I can drain it right into the pail. Like this. Boop, there it is. Nice. Oh man, you try so hard not to make a mess. Changing the fuel filter, and I dumped my bucket over underneath there. So now I got floor dry everywhere. I always keep a tough box full of floor dry for stuff like this. Sometimes like I might as well have just took the filter off and let it run everywhere instead of trying to waste time trying to be tidy. Man, that's annoying. All right, oil change is done. Now I'll run it while I clean up my mess. Double check for oil leaks and double check the oil level when I'm done. Sure is nice to have lights in the cab cabinets this time of year.
There we go. In and out, just like I was never here. Except for the big mess underneath here. Man.